Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial with EC QuickBooks Training. And in today's video, I'm going to show you a little trick about bill payments. So let's get started. Now, in this channel, I like to teach what I learn about QuickBooks. QuickBooks is always changing. Whether it's QuickBooks Online or QuickBooks Desktop, there's always something to learn. So I learned this the other day and I wanted to share it with you. So I'm in the bill payment in this sample company file. And what happened is I had entered a check um, for this vendor. So in this case, in this company file, this is the same scenario. I entered a check. My client a few days later entered the bill. So then she's like, Liz, I already paid that bill. Why is it showing twice? So I'm like, oh yeah, I remember seeing that go through the bank, the bank feed. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh, this is what happened. I entered the check as a payment and then she entered the bill. So what I had to do is convert this check into a bill payment. As you can see, there is a difference. This is a direct check to the register. This is a bill payment to this bill. So I have to convert this check to a bill payment. So how do I do that? This is how I did it. I went into the bill. Oh no, I apologize. I went into the check and I clicked on it and the bill showed up on the right hand side. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to add it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm thinking I'm going to delete the other one, but as you can see, it converted that bill into the check. I didn't have to change anything. I didn't have to uh, change the date or anything. So all I have to do is put the amount of the bill here, 241, because I don't want to leave it as a credit. And I want this check to be converted to a bill payment. So I'm going to save and close. And let's see what happens. See, it turned to a bill payment. And that was how I cleared that out. And I wanted to share this with you. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I will be sharing more things as I learned in my um, business and working with my clients. I like to share those tips and tricks with you. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you on the next one.